This is a show about the American entrepreneur, the dreamers, the believers, the achievers. We discover those making a better life for others through a better business. That's what it means to be in Multiviews Good Company. I was actually riding with just a couple friends and uh, went over the handlebars. I was probably only in the air six or eight feet. That's all it takes. My friend ran up to me and I said, I just broke my neck. Call 911. When you uh, have everything shut off all at once, it's overwhelming. I pretty much knew what I was in for. A lot of times you, you just feel lost, that you'll never gain that sense of independence back. And um, when something is adapted that allows you to gain that back, it can give you something to get up and look forward to the next day. Welcome to Columbia City, Indiana a quiet town in the American heartland that's home to be adaptive. A small company making big changes for the disabled. Be Adaptive Equipment is a adaptive uh, equipment manufacturer. We primarily build adaptive hunting and shooting equipment, but we do have uh, lots of other adaptive equipment. All these products end up fulfilling the needs of people that just have an issue with pulling a trigger all the way up to complete quads that can't move their arms or hands. And we can outfit any of them with devices that help them. I didn't start the adaptive equipment with the intentions of starting a business. I made the first piece of equipment for Eric and seeing how it touched his life and how much of a difference it made and it was just fun to be involved in that. So I never approached it as, oh, this is, a, this is gonna be something I'm gonna make a lot of money with. Before there was Be Adaptive, there was just two guys in the beginnings of a friendship. Brian, a self-taught engineer, just wanted to help a buddy out. Eric came into the place that I was working at and had a problem with his chair. He wanted to know if uh, if I could work on it for him. It just had a couple little things that needed fixed. So after work, he came down and uh, was looking at my chair, and I kind of took him through my house, and he's looked at something on my floor, and he's like, "Well, what's that?" He had a gun mount that um, that somebody had purchased for him, and so I was like, "Well, let, let me take a look at it." It was only good for one shot, and then you had to to uh, readjust everything, and so so I told him I was like, "I think I can make something better than that." And at that point, I wanted to do it just because I thought it would be really neat to be able to make something that made his life more enjoyable and to build that apparatus for him was was the, the exciting part of it for me. Him and I got together and uh, after quite a few prototypes, we uh, figured something out. Brian saw how much Eric enjoyed his reclaimed independence. It was then he knew there must be more people out there that he could help too. I started to be adaptive equipment in 2002, just in my garage that I had at home. The reason we manufacture the equipment in-house is because I want to be able to control whether or not it's working or it doesn't work, and if it doesn't work, to be able to have the part to be able to fix it or change what's wrong with it. We could have outsourced it, but that's just not what we are, and we want to be able to have the one-on-one -on -one relationship with the customer to make sure that what they have is, is what they need. Be Adaptive's innovative design allows their equipment to be easily mounted and unmounted to almost any wheelchair. We could have them downrange shooting in five minutes. That's always been our goal, is to try to make the things very, very universal. We have a limited mount for people that's got some mobility, and we have the high quad for people that have less ability, and both of them work for each person, so, that's pretty cool. With limited mobility in mind, operating the mount took some ingenuity so that no matter their ability, anyone can use it. A simple joystick is used to position the mount. When ready to fire, the user applies suction to a small tube which activates a pneumatic trigger device. One of the challenges that Brian had to overcome was finite aiming. When you have a high quad and a gun's actually sitting out in front of you, it's hard to look through a regular rifle scope. So the the monitor that we have allows them to look at the screen, see what's going on in the scope. Now all they have to do is line up the target and fire when ready. The final obstacle is getting a recoiled gun back into position. It does have a, what we call a recoil compensation built into it. It's got two hydraulic dampers on it. It can recoil up and come back down. With the gun mount, I'm a better shot now than I was before my accident. It's a pretty awesome piece of equipment. 
Brian and his wife Renee know that it isn't really the shooting that's important, but rather it's the self-sufficiency that makes all the difference. I do think our products are used a lot with recreational therapists in VA hospitals and occupational therapists. And I know that sounds weird that shooting a gun can be therapy, but the therapists tell us if they can find something that they can get the guys passionate about and that they enjoy, that it really does help. From the first day of shooting, it, I was hooked on it. I did a lot of hunting and shooting and um, just being able to do that again when I thought all was lost for good, that was, really special. We can't take them out and get them a trophy deer, but we can give them the ability to go out and participate and do what they want to do. When you gain a little piece of that back, it really gives you a good sense of satisfaction. Brian and Renee get plenty of calls to help rebuild lives, but every so often, that voice on the other end of the line is looking to build one last memory. Just the other day, Renee, she came to me, and it's the kind of stories we hear all the time, that a 13-year-old a, a little boy has got brain cancer, he's terminal, and he knows he's terminal, and he wants to, uh, he actually wants to, I'm going to not make it through this, he wants to go on a hunt. That's pretty ridiculous, and then I can't make it through that. That's not ridiculous at all. I'm, like, I'm going to make it through I'm not going to make it through it. He wants to hunt. Yeah, it's crazy. We deal with this every day, and I don't sit around and cry like a baby every day about it. But this one's been pretty rough on me, really, for some reason. My oldest son, Jacob, is 14. I can't imagine what it would be like to have a 13-year-old child. So anyways, we're, we're gonna send the equipment because he's, he's weak enough now that he can't hold the gun up. So we're gonna send a gun mount for him to use to be able to go on this hunt. I'm sorry that I'm crying about it. It seems ridiculous, I guess, until you start thinking about it and it, it tears you up that these are the, the kinds of things that people deal with all the time, you know? And, and we, we get wound up in our own, our own little lives and, and how, oh boy, I've got a mortgage due and I've got this and things are terrible and woe is me. And, and then you, you get a phone call about somebody that's got a child that's gonna, not gonna make it for another, who knows how long, six months, and this is what they wanna do. We're not flying him all over the country and we're not, we're not rock stars going to visit him and stuff, but we at least get a help. As Be Adaptive helps fulfill one boy's last wish, they also help Shannon, a typical 12-year-old boy, start a lifetime of memories with his grandfather. Is your grandfather your role model? Mm, yeah. And we came out today for Shannon to get ready for hunting season. I never did anything before. Uh, with the other grandkids, he's not able to participate on a lot of the activities they do. So this was the one thing that he decided he wanted to do. And I said, well, I'll make it happen for him. So we came to these nice people. Everybody ready? And this is fantastic. This is something that'll get him outdoors and it's, it's a new experience and it's exciting. I am really looking forward to doing more things. Me and my papa go a lot of deer. You could just see a light go on when they try that equipment for the first time. It's just neater and crap. Give them something back that was taken away or maybe the first time they've been able to do this and they just really enjoy it. Uh, I mean, I'm really happy that I could be just like my papa. When I found out about the adaptive, uh, they, they were a blessing. I'm, I'm very proud of what we're doing. I think that our products help people pursue a quality of life that they they may think that they couldn't do before. We meet so many people throughout the country and, and, and get involved with people's lives and get to see what a difference it makes. That, that That's the most rewarding part of the whole thing is the people that we have met over the years. Brian's more than just a company owner. He's a close friend. I know if I, I need something, he's gonna help me out, so. You know, just to have friends and family that are willing to help you, 
it gives you a better outlook on life. Whether it's for therapy, independence, one more memory, or a lifetime of them, Brian, Renee, and everyone at Be Adaptive remind us that sometimes to be a good company, you first need to be a good friend.